Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. Today is October fifth. Oh wait, it's one nineteen p.m. All right, I'll take that back. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my channel. And obviously, I've been slacking off because I do not know what time it is,、uh, and I have zero awareness of what's going on out there.、Um, but、uh, the one thing I do know is Bitcoin is making a crazy comeback. Look at where it is now. It's at fifty-one thousand seven hundred fifteen. As we record this video,、um, and it's quite significant, actually,、um, given how the downtrend was like a few days ago,、um, and Bitcoin only took it back,、uh, taking only one, two, three, four, five, six, six days to come back to very close to where it was previously.、Um, Earlier this month, actually earlier September, what's happening?、Uh, a lot of good things are happening, uh, but um, uh, and for some reason,、um, there's something special about Bitcoin. Is that、uh, previously, you know how、uh, like stock market's doing right now, right?、Uh, like people are suffering a lot of drop, and then the、um, Um, the stock index funds are well; they are making some some level com coming back. But then again, you know the trend is pretty pretty obvious.、Um, and previously, Bitcoin usually follows this kind of trend,、um, but not this time. Not this time. I'm not sure whether or not it will follow the downward trend in the next few days. But Um, enjoy what we have, um, and um, that's definitely some spectacular,、um, you know,、uh, upward trend rally.、Uh, I,、uh, you know, the, the only only sad thing about this is that I don't really have any active positions.、Uh, I was kind of previously occupied by other matters,、um, you know, kids getting sick this time this time of the year. Uh, I'm becoming emo, whatever, right?、Um, however,、uh, it is also very important to keep an eye on the market to make sure that you know, like、uh, we do,、um, you know, it's 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 never too late to catch on the train as long as keep go keeps going up, right? So it's okay,、uh, even if I don't have anything、uh, active, I don't have any open positions. Let's see. If there's any opportunities for us to trade today, so I'm going to do um I'm I'm going to do actually four coins today in this video, uh Bitcoin, ETH, Solana, and ICP because these two these four are the um um pretty like、uh, people pay do pay attention to it. Um. So let's see. Ba, 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 ba. Okay. Now let's look at Bitcoin on the daily time frame. What are we looking at? It's a、um, pretty nice upward trend right here. And、um, the first thing we should do is to really mark the support resistance.、Um, and I'll use the building tools、uh, for trading view. It's very convenient. All you need to do is press Alt and H to. To generate a support resistance line or a horizontal line, whatever you like to call it,、um, really nice growth these couple days. Let's zoom in to four hour. Usually,、uh, opportunities do happen at four hours. As I was saying, can you see this? This is the best opportunity to get in. This is two, but then you'll get, you know, you'll get taken off、uh, right here. But you know, this is really, really good.、Um, Coming back to usually at four-hour time frame, you'll be able to see some of the best point of entry. This is what I'm in, right? This is what I'm in. If you can stay up, actually it's 5 a.m. Unfortunately, not、uh, not on my watch. But、uh, for people who wake up early,、um, like for example in 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 the east or in a different time zone, this is like the perfect opportunity for you to get in. A quick comeback and then bounce back right away. So,、uh, but is there any other opportunities? Let's see.、Um, I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit because it's a bit 
difficult to see. Here, there's a if if I zoom in a little bit. Oh, okay. So you can see there's a somewhat clear swap of support of like resistance and support here. So you can get in either here or here. This is reasonably clear. This will be you know good good um good points to get in at 49,643. Unfortunately, I wasn't available at this time. I was uh, sending my kids to school. It's uh, nine o'clock. Let's see uh, when did that happen. So if we switch to 15 minutes time frame, okay, there. I don't have any excuses because at this time, oh, actually I do. Yeah, I was just busy sending my kids to school, so I didn't see this. There you go, I have my excuse. Uh, but it's okay, it's okay. There are tons of opportunities. Um, it's it's sad that I didn't get in here, but then again, um, there might be other opportunities to trade in the future. Um, however, would I get in right now? Um, I'm not too sure because we are getting awfully close to this. I'm just gonna drag this over here. So this is, the pre this is this will be the next support resistance right and uh, we'll have to wait until it breaks and then do the step up again but then we're gonna be facing a pretty strong okay this is this has been the case for the last few 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 wow okay so this is the high point for the last three months almost and um, maybe the best really is to wait until it comes uh, break through uh, 53,000 comes back and then do another um, validation of the support then that's you know a good opportunity to good opportunity to to trade but then again um, like for for people who are kind of on the safe side um, if you don't want to take too much risk maybe this is not the best time to get in because um, it's just uh, there's not a lot of space for us to play here especially and then we're awfully close to the previous high um, I'm not too sure um, if another correction will come um, you know um, in the next few days because stock market is not doing very well uh, and it's there's the like just it, this this situation makes a lot less sense right now to trade very actively so i will be i will that that's i will be less active in the market just given how you know um how close it is to the previous high um and uh, i would rather see some some correction um and then it stops here uh before uh, i start trading actively again um because we have had some really good you know um explo explosion um with no real correction or just it's it just is it makes no sense right it makes no sense so uh, the best opportunity maybe what i'll do what i'll do is um i'll wait for it to hit here to come back i will either be waiting here or here uh, if it doesn't come back at all, then I will probably trade when we see a um, you know real strong breakthrough here, um, and then um, get in here. So oops, a couple options to trade really, um, but you know right now it's a bit risky. Um, and uh, for myself, um, you know this is just not this is not. Uh, you know financial advice please do take that into account uh, this is just my own trading plan uh, i wouldn't get in right away i will wait until a breakthrough happens um and then or better yet a uh, a kind of a bit more significant correction or you know drop uh, kind of you know to a lower support uh, that will make it that at least that will make me feel more comfortable trading uh because i i trade only long position but 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 even if you're shorting the market right um you can't just go in go into the market start shorting right away thinking that bitcoin is already high um that never works right that never works um and 
um, is probably one of the quickest way to go um, to go bankrupt. Maybe like it's it's very easy to lose all of your money uh, if you're short at the wrong time because Bitcoin tends to go up like this uh, without stopping. Um, so even if you're shorting the market, right, which I don't do myself, you have to wait for the signs. For signs that the you know the, the price is not going up again, uh, it's not going to hold, um, and um, so um, you short here, right? Excuse me, I'm gonna sip. Okay, so you short here or here? You don't short here. Like it's, just, it makes no sense. All right, so that's Bitcoin. Um, I really, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna wait uh, because, uh, and you, you can also see this, right? It's, it's trying to break through the support, uh, the resistance line here. Oh, oh, oh! Wow, did you see that? Okay. Um, I don't know. Like, there's a lot of volatilities here. Uh, it's happening as we speak. Um, I'm just gonna uh, sit down and, and see where this is end up going. And uh, that's it, actually. Um, so that's it for for Bitcoin. Uh, just be be cautious. Um, you know, be patient. Wait for the best opportunity to get in. Don't don't rust. Uh, don't rush in. Um, uh, just you know, uh, that's probably the best um, best thing you can do right now if you don't have any open positions like I do. Okay, so next will be ETH. Ethereum. Um, it's in very similar situation as Bitcoin, but Ethereum seems to be walking. Um, seems to be having a reasonably well. Uh, it's it's a bit more clear with. Let's just focus on the most recent support and resistance, right? This 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 doesn't work very well, but then what the hey? Um, so daily time frame, four hour, okay, so this is four hour. Um here's here's this again, right? Whenever you see a pattern like this, it's usually a um indication of um you know something really radical is about to happen so the best opportunity to get in is to get in here and uh, this is just a, you know it's like a deep dive into something but got quickly pulled back up and then you get in here this is one of the trading signals that i would trade but um i wasn't in front of my computer when this happened so it was uh, 1 p.m yesterday and i didn't do anything about it Ugh, i know i know I'm not sure if I was in front of a computer, but definitely I missed a signal, and it's not good. And um, here's another one. Here we go. So we're at another oh, okay. Actually, the retest happened here. Hmm. All right. Um, okay, we're at 3,500 now. I don't know. Let's see. So, one, two, three. Yeah. Um, Really, same thing with Bitcoin. I would just wait um, because, let's see. I'm going to do a Adam's reflection. And it looks like we're going to see some um, correction at 3546, which is sort of happening right now um, uh, before it goes back up. But uh, really, really wait for the support resistance line at 42. At, at four hours so this will be okay so this probably will be it i'll set up an alert here if the price comes down to 34.79 i will be watching closely as to where the price is going before i get in but then again you know we are getting very close to the previous highs and therefore i will be trading fairly carefully 
um, and I'm gonna I'm not going to trade with um, with a larger position, just uh, maybe a, a small position, a position that you're comfortable with. Um, if you lose, if you if you you know if you got stop lost, you you're okay, right? You're you're perfectly fine. Um, and then this is probably the best opportunity to test out whether or not your signal is gonna work. So that's it for ETH. Uh, I'm just gonna wait for ETH to come come back at uh, 34.79, um, and then right now it seems to be uh, it's it's kind of making that yeah it's kind of making that coming back as we speak, but it's it's, it's yeah it's moving up a bit stronger than um, than Bitcoin. But look at how standard this is, right? It's just um, step, 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 and then all the way up. So yeah, stick to your signals. Um, don't trade um, random. I mean, just stick to your plan. Stick to your signals, uh, especially at this point of time, at this point, at this price. You got to be very, very strict about your trading system, uh, about your trading plan. Um, just um, uh, so that's that's the only way it's gonna keep you safe. All right, so um, I remain hopefully long, um, but I'll be I'll be trading very, very, very carefully, just because it's uh, it's overdue for a correction. All right, so uh, that that's ETH. The next one will be Solana. Solana, unfortunately, is not doing as well as I thought it would do. Um, basically, on the on the daily time frame, it's made a um, okay-ish comeback. Right here we go, but it didn't break the 170. It didn't stand above 170, 1, 160, 169 ish. And it sort of, sort of, you know, went below, um, almost coming across um, the uh, the daily time frame. Right now, it's kind of critical. If we switch to four hour, you can see that we are sort of, yeah, it's not looking good. It's showing the sign of. Um, Shorting. So this is basically a standard shorting sign. Um, if you go beyond support, then comes back, not really able to break break through it, and you're gonna just keep going down like this. And um, so what I'll do is I will be paying a lot. Let's pay a lot close attention here. Switch to 15 minutes. Um, yeah, uh, from the chart, it doesn't look very good. Um, if you were to trade, I would be I would be very cautious. Um, the what's gonna make a difference really is here. If it breaks through, comes back, this support starts building momentum again so it's gonna uh, consolidate a little bit before it goes back up then that means we're sort of safe we're from shorting uh oh okay there we are um so it it appears that you know um the price is making a uh, making a um upward trend um as we speak and this is definitely a good thing because i do have solana uh staked i don't want to uh I don't want to expose myself too much to the danger, um, but this is definitely good. Um, and if Solana comes back, if Solana comes back and can hold this position again, not breaking through again, then um, we're going to see there's a pretty good probability that uh, the price will go up uh, upwards to 170 maybe so that's that's another five five dollars um, but 170 seems to have been the the previous high for a very very long time right so this is a yeah it just um, it doesn't break 
and then five dollars to go so right now the trading my trading plan for solana is to wait for it to come back to 165 four ish um and to observe whether or not, whether or not the support at 163 is gonna hold if it doesn't hold uh which uh it's very likely um then we're gonna have to short solana um because it's in the shorting shorting trend um and if it holds then chances are uh we're gonna have to loan solana but um i'm not opening any short shorting position on solana right now just because um i don't do short um uh, but it, i might be doing some um uh, you know I, I i would i will i will open a short position to protect my uh my spot margins um uh, profit that's what i'll do but still look at this uh we don't know yet we don't know yet the beauty of trading trading altcoins is that uh the fluctuation and uh, the thrill it comes with, right? Um, it, it it makes it very difficult for you to actually set up any meaningful stop loss without suffering a significant loss if you bet on the wrong side. Uh, however, if you do get on the right side, uh, like the profit you'll take home, it's just amazing. Um, and I guess that's just part of the game. That's just part of the game. Okay, so that's it for Solana. Uh, let's keep it, definitely keep a close eye to it. And let's switch to ICP. ICP has been made has has been making some significant, um, you know, uh, like up up upward move uh, recently. I really really liked it. Uh, this this actually this big kind of you know explosion took me by surprise. I was hoping that it will it will come out, uh, break out a little bit, then retest off forty nine. But it didn't it didn't do that. Um, instead, it start it you know it went ICP went straight to 55 and not coming back. So there we go. This is going to be um, the most um, recent. At least this is going to be the four-hour uh, retest. Well, seven, eight, uh, nine o'clock. So nine o'clock, you still have opportunity. Uh, but now uh, it's just um, too high up there. Uh, I will wait. I'll wait again for price to maybe break. Let's see, four hours. I'll wait for price to break this. Yep. So if price price breaks out 56, comes back again, uh, testing 56 as support. Um, I'll figure out uh, if uh, by that time it is the right thing to uh, to open a long position. But ICP is doing really well. The reason I'm I'm, I'm starting to paying attention to ICP again, oops, yeah, uh, it's, is if you take a look at um, if you take a look at the chart. So basically, all of these comes down here went up went up went up went up didn't work okay 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 book broke the support here and we are coming back up to the previously broken support and if this can be successful and the retest works out it's going to have a really really high probability um, it the the probability of it goes up to another level of the price to goes goes up to another level is really really high, uh, and it's definitely worth it for people uh, you know for for people who trade the trend to to test it out. So this is actually this position is super duper critical. This is a very important critical timeline, and of course it depends on whether or not Bitcoin is doing good, right? So that's just um. Uh, another thing but um, um, if everything else stays the same uh, my trading plan will be so I will okay turn this on I will delete this so I will set up a alert here 
that the previous one that I set up just got triggered because I set it too close to the support resistance line. Um, and then wait to see if um, we are going to have a big enough breakout. We're going to have a big enough breakout for for us to have an opportunity to get in. All right, so that's it for today. Um, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.